so, so now we're back. Lopka's has joined us here with Ange, and Ange went and sat there in her chair, and she's going to listen to Lopka. What Lopka has got to share with her. And then I hear the ladies talking to each other, and my ears are nearly falling off. Actually, I'm in quite a bit of shock at the moment because two of the moms sitting over there were discussing how the system told them. I'm going to say this, even though it's so shocking, but the system told them that they they had to. I don't know if they said by law or that it's illegal, was the words I heard, correct? It's illegal to not give your child the medication that the school is saying they need. Well, I just want to say that I think that is nonsense. First of all, I don't see anywhere in the law that it should tell any parent that it's, it's just not, it, they can't, it can't be in the law that. It couldn't be. If it is, somebody can who's watching out there or a lawyer or whoever can tell me and show me and put me right. But what I'm concerned about is parents do as they told without checking the law. Like you have to be a teacher to home educate. It doesn't say that in the law anyway. But somebody tells them that you can't home educate if you're not a qualified teacher. It's not in the law. It doesn't say that in the law. So I just want to say to parents, please check the law. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Angela's story just now just about had me in pieces. It was so sad and now I'm battling <laughs> I want to ask you parents to please please don't just go with what somebody out there because they're official or they the authority or they whatever and they say to you you've got to do this I was using that story earlier on when it came to um, licenses just because the media out there is at the moment is saying in this country that we need to have certain licenses for certain things to do certain things and it's not actually what do you call it, gazetted or legalized or anything, it's just media. So please be responsible parents and don't just do what the authority says that it's illegal for you not to give your child this medication. I don't know that there's a law that says that anywhere. I really don't think there is such a, a law. As I say, I'm sta I stand here to be corrected, but I hope there isn't because it's a parent's right to choose. I mean, I know with all of our situations with Missy with health, health we were told she has to have a blood, no, not a blood, a bone marrow transplant. She has to have. We said, well, excuse me. You know, did God, God has to tell us that she has to have a bone marrow transplant. You can't the doctor say to us, she has to have this. Because if you don't sign here, she's going to die. So you have to sign here. No, no, we've got to check with God. She never got a bone marrow transplant, but she had to have one, according to the medical profession. So yes, hear them. They specialize. They know what they're talking about. They're... But as a parent, you've got to take it to God and check what is he saying for that child. Now, you, you were saying that your child was in a special school. Have, have I got that right? And the, the authority was telling you one way, and you were saying, no, I don't have mm -hmm. peace about that. And you and your husband chose to I'm not sorry. go with yeah. what was being told you to you, that if you don't do it, it's illegal or whatever. Mm -hmm. There were Then I asked Anne back here again to come sit with Lobka because she was busy telling the moms over there, things that she left out of her sharing. <laughs> so what did you leave out that you that it's I asked just, you to come back? Um, that Dex was battling with maths. And one of the things that um, um, when he was in school, obviously we thought it, it, it's just a thing of, of letting go of words that were spoken and that kind of thing as well. Um, uh, one of his teachers in grade R said he's, he's really struggling. He's just he's probably just going to be good with his hands. Um, and that's something that kind of, and then with him being in remedial, I thought, oh, you know, shame, you know, um, if he's struggling with maths now, it's po possibly because he does have this learning issue or what have you. And, and we've actually um, found a, an, an amazing maths tutor who has helped him and she's discovered that he's actually, you know, uh, brilliant at maths. And with him being so see. brilliant at, at music, maths and music go together. Mm -hmm. So he's, yes, he's amazing with his hands, with the drums. But, yeah. but, <laughs> but he doesn't um, have a maths problem. No that's problem. So, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's just letting go of that, um, of what people have said as well. And So on that, let's be careful to not take words as though they are gospel, because mm -hmm. there is only one gospel. Yeah. There is only one truth. And we can't take words of man and take them as gospel and put, them into, put ourselves into bondage. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I'm sounding like all dramatic now, but the point is you were in bondage. You yeah. were... You were bound to the words that had been spoken into your ears yeah. about your sons. Yeah. And now you're free from that. Yeah. And now you're seeing how the, that the problems you were told...
that didn't sit well with your heart. You just mm-hmm. didn't feel like, no, that's not actually the yeah. case. Now you have freedom from that, and now your your sons are able to grow into the fullness awesome. of who they are. Is that is, awesome. did I get that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you. Is there anything else you left out? No. <laughs> you want to go now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, let me go. <laughs> So here we have Lopka. She was sitting here a moment with Ange, but Ange has run away and she's over there hiding in the corner. <laughs> Thank you, Ange. That was very, very valuable. Yes. And so now, Lopka, you have a story to tell us. I do. And I'm going to start off by saying that I have totally loved this morning. It has just been so oh, encouraging. <laughs> and uh, um, my homeschooling story only started about five years ago, although I've got much older children. Uh, the eldest being 16. Um, 14, uh, 11, and then we've got our little two-year-old. So before before I started homeschooling, I only had the three. And they were in school, and I had no intention to homeschool, and they were happy, and and everybody was doing well, and um, <clears throat> my oldest son did was in the remedial unit, the same as Declan, and uh, we had him on meds. And uh, I was fine with it. And my husband had said to me years before, Lopka, what about homeschooling? And I was, "Mm, no, I can't do it. It has to be somebody who studies. Because you weren't equipped and you weren't a teacher. I can't do it. And you weren't patient. And you didn't have what about the the report as well. Don't forget about that. Yes, yes, of course. So anyway, it was... No, a definite no, no. And there was a friend of mine that did homeschooling and I thought to myself, yo, I don't know how she does it, she's crazy. And then, <laughs> my, and, and, and homeschooling wasn't like strange to me because my aunt had homeschooled her three children since the beginning and so I knew all about it. But to, in my heart it wasn't, I wasn't ever going to do it. And then one Sunday morning I'm sitting in church and it was like God took my heart and he just changed it completely. It was a switch. It's the only way I can explain it, that it was a complete heart change. And it was, what about homeschooling? And it was like, I'm Maybe going, it was, what I'm going to what, homeschool. What am not you know? homeschooling? Yeah, you know, exactly. What's, what's wrong with me? And, and I still remember Ange saying to me that very Sunday morning, saying, you know, I'm thinking about homeschooling. And I was like, me too. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to do this. And I went home and I said to my husband, we're going to homeschool. And he was like, that's wonderful, but we need to do our research. And so, you know, when you get on the, on the internet. I've heard, yes. Yes. There's lots you can research. Not in my day. In not my day, yet. we didn't even have Uncle Google. Oh, you didn't have Uncle Google. I had, well, we've I got had my Bible and not a single other home educator to be seen. Um. On this planet, I mean, not the planet. I mean, I mean, continent. This continent. <laughs> yes. Uh, they, they were there in the other continents, apparently. Yes. But I hadn't met them or mm-hmm. any such thing. Couldn't talk. But I was blessed. Yeah. I was blessed. I didn't have to go. I think that is a blessing, really. It was a huge blessing because when you're mm-hmm. online, it's all you've got a gazillion choices to make. And how do you know what to do? You well, just pray. Yeah, actually, I actually. bought all of them. <laughs> <laughs> It was a mistake, wasn't it? It was. It was a mistake. Yeah, shame. Sorry. And I also did the school room. Some lessons are painful, uh, costly ones. Costly, yeah. Anyway. You did the school room too? I did. So you tried to do the stuff, the school, and to the Well, that's the mentality you have. When you're in the system, that's what you know. That's you know. That's your reference. And so, yeah, that's what you do. School is school. School is there in the building or here. I didn't have a bell, so I wasn't ringing a bell at least. (laughs) But uh, we were working according to a clock and, you know... Mm. Um, <laughs> that lasted for maybe three months. <laughs> Same and then promise, it, was like, it wasn't longer than that. Woohoo! Freedom! <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely. <laughs> How did the freedom come? I wow. don't know, but I can just say that when God does the work, He does it properly. Hey, there's sort of no holding back. There's no half measure. No. So, yeah. I love my life. Maybe I'm deluded, but this is <laughs> like the best decision I have ever made it's and then are your children happy yes and you know my my eldest son (laughs) because they were so happy in school and he was like mom please please I don't want to do homeschooling and then maybe (laughs) maybe about three or four months into it he said 
And one morning he woke up, he said, Mom, I had a nightmare. And I said, what was it? And he goes, I dreamt I had to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a nightmare for him. So I took that as like a really good sign that this was mm. like the perfect sure. choice for us. And, and it was God. That's definitely what I can say because it was just that one Sunday morning and it was a complete, you're going to do this and mm. you're going to love it. And I, I, don't, I do. It's fabulous. I can't understand why not, not everybody does it. It's, well, they used to be where you were. Yeah, that's right. Shame. Yeah, <laughs> but now, and how is it now? What do, you, do you have any struggles or is life just a party? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're very real. <laughs> We've got four children now. And uh, I always say that Sammy's my product of homeschooling. If we didn't homeschool, I probably wouldn't have had him. You know, so he's been just so delightful because he's been such a learning curve for all of us. Mm. The kids have thoroughly enjoyed having him and he's a real blessing too. <laughs> and yeah, the kids, they're kids, they're, they're, they're children and there's, they're squabbling and fighting and this is my space and you're sitting on my chair. But... You smile. Yeah, I try. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. Not always. Mm. Yeah, sometimes I also frown a bit. But, but it'll come right. <laughs> mm. So, but just generally, you're just loving it. You say you Absolutely. love your life, you love what you're doing, you love. Absolutely. And the struggles are imagine... sort of in the shadows. As yes, I don't have, it's been so lovely because I don't have a worry about the future. And it, it has been a progress, I know, because... Did you uh, used to worry? Yes, I did. And now you don't, and is no. it better now that you don't? Absolutely. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because I know that God has created them for their purpose. Mm -hmm. And their purpose will come to be if they are living according to His will. And, and so I just, mm, yeah, I don't worry about it. Because Wonderful. I know that God has got it sorted out. God has got it sorted. I think this is a <coughs> wonderful conclusion to our morning together. God has got it sorted and why worry? Why worry? For sure. Life's a party. Mm. <laughs> Make the most of it. Yes. Have fun. Enjoy Smile. it. Joy is our strength. Yes. Yes. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Lopka. Thank you. So now, why don't you do something unusual and why doesn't everybody just come and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can all <laughs> say goodbye to everybody that's been here's all the ladies all gathering and sit in the corner here and I'll just whiz across oops oh, sorry <laughs> squeeze it there we go can you get us all one two three four five six seven eight so here these eight ladies are that thank you for coming look at them they're all smiling <laughs> <laughs> so much fun we had a wonderful time and I'm going to ask all of you to let us know if this was great or good if you enjoyed it and if you did let us know and comment comment down here that's what they do <laughs> <laughs> place your comments what yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. we'll put this on facebook on oikos facebook page so you ladies are going to be famous okay so get ready <laughs> <laughs> so now what we all are just moms at home loving our children trying to be obedient to god keep smiling keep strong <laughs> And have a party, right? Yes. And I'm sure all of you, those of you who've been watching this, I'm sure you've all picked up some or other little gem along the way. And please let us know how it was. I'm sure you'd like to know if this has been helpful to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do give us feedback so we can encourage all these moms to come back again because we want to do a follow-up. You're going to come back for a follow-up? Yes. 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 We're going to hear the, their stories unfold. We'll hear about how Ruben's doing in a Mar Mauritius. Yes. And we'll hear all the other stories. And we'll start with you again. And just keep on going. <laughs> because you moms out there did actually ask for this. You said you wanted to hear from uh, more people. Apparently, I'm a legend. <laughs> so you've had enough of the legend now, I would imagine. And now, so I brought some new young, youngest of them all is Silla over there with her little five and four, and five and three and two. So we've got lots more to hear from you as well. So thank you for watching all of these ladies sharing with you. Thank you for your time and sitting watching. I hope all of you make time to watch some of the other videos that we made for you. We will. Like, yeah. like Granny Oikos. <laughs> we hope so. Okay, so say goodbye to everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.